Okay, this is a General Motors 171. It's a single cylinder diesel engine. <clears throat> they were made in the 30s. There were somewhere around 900 of them were built and they were used to power pumps, generators, standby generators, um, things like that. Most of them were used, I think, during World War II and they were put in uh, Navy ships so that if the ship got hit by a torpedo that this would kick in as a backup generator that power the bilge pumps and the uh, signal uh, generator on the ship so that they could send out a mayday call. This one came from uh, Bakersfield, came from Delaney and Alf. I don't have the uh, tachometer hooked up yet. Came from Delaney and Alf, and I had been looking at it there for I don't know how long, uh, years and years, and talking to the owners there. They're very nice people, very helpful. And um, anyways, we, we agreed on a price for it, so I was able to buy it about a week ago and bring it home with my brother. And then we started going through it. <clears throat> and as we got one thing fixed, then something else would happen. All minor stuff. Um, we had to rebuild the starter on it, uh, replace all the fuel lines, the uh, put a gas tank on it, uh, make an exhaust stack for it, fix a leak in the radiator, uh, replace belts and hoses, and just minor stuff like that. Nothing big, change the oil. Built this battery box for it here. And at any rate, we did get it running. So I'll start it up. And what's neat about this one, and I think it's it's one of the more rare ones of uh, how rare these things are. I've heard different stories. I don't really know how many of these still exist. But it's somewhere, uh, somebody says there's 10. There's got to be a lot more than 10 of them around, but there's not too many. And at any rate, most of them went to the bottom of the ocean when they scuttled the ships, um, when the ships were worn out. So this one's got a hand crank on the front of it that goes in here and into there. And the reason for that was it's got a compression release on the side here. You flip that up and then you could turn this thing over with a hand crank. And the reason for that was my friend uh, Pete Bloom told me that these were also used for uh, fuel pumps for gasoline. And they didn't want any spark from a starter motor around gasoline. So to get them started, the, the uh, driver or whoever is working the, the fuel dock there would have to hand crank this thing to get it started. But we won't do that. It's got an electric start on it now. So I'm going to start it up. The governor works. It works through the variations of speed. Uh, this is the throttle on it right here. That's idle position. And let's, let's get her going. I don't know if it'll start in the idle position or not. There we go.
That's idle. I don't know if you can read the tag in the serial number. Twelve hundred RPM is a maximum fifteen horsepower. Fun, fun little toy. Look how small the uh, blower is on it. I know different people call them different things. Some people call them a supercharger, some people call them a blower. <clears throat> Whatever you want to call it. There it is. A 171.